Hi and welcome to episode number 643 with whatsforchild.com. Today we're going to make Portuguese rolls or prego rolls. These rolls have a fine soft texture with a smooth matted finish and the trademark slash top. They are normally filled with spicy pork or chicken but serve brilliantly as burger buns as well. Before we continue, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notifications every time we publish a new episode. To start, add 20 grams of caster sugar and 280 milliliters of milk to 360 ml of warm water. Pour in 20 grams of instant yeast and stir this all briefly until the sugar has dissolved and the yeast is mixed into the solution. Cover this and put it aside for 10 minutes to prove. While the yeast proves, add 1 kilogram of strong white bread flour to your mixer bowl. Add a tablespoon of non-iodated salt and 40 grams of softened butter. After 10 minutes, pour in the yeast solution. Be sure to give it a final mix before doing so. Start your mixer on its slowest speed. Run it for 2 minutes until all the ingredients are combined, then increase the speed by one setting for another 6 minutes. Do the window pane test. If the test fails, continue for a further 2 minutes on the slowest speed. Do the test again and continue in 2 minute sessions until your dough is very smooth and passes the window pane test. The window pane test is done by stretching a small piece of dough. If it can stretch until almost transparent, then it passes the test. Cover the bowl with cling wrap and leave this in a warm place to rise for 60 to 90 minutes until it has doubled in size. Pour boiling water into a baking tray and place this in your oven on the lowest shelf. This will warm the oven and produce steam and humidity for the second proofing. Once the dough has doubled in size, punch it down briefly and turn the dough out onto a lightly floured work surface. Divide the dough into 100 gram portions. Shape the portions by folding the dough from the edge to the bottom of the portion. Place the smooth ball in the palm of your hand and continue smoothing the bun by cupping your other hand over the bun and using a circular motion. Place the smooth ball on your work surface and roll it until slightly elongated. Traditionally these are rolled slightly more elongated than mine. However I want to use these as burger buns so I prefer them on the rounder side. Transfer the buns to a baking sheet lined with parchment and use a very sharp blade to slash the tops of the buns. Transfer the baking sheet to the oven to prove for 60 to 90 minutes until doubled in size. 10 minutes before the proofing is complete, remove the sheet from the oven and cover with cling film. Preheat your oven to 190 Celsius or just below 400 Fahrenheit, making sure to leave the tray of water on the lowest shelf of the oven. When the oven is ready, uncover the rolls and transfer them to the center of the oven and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes until lightly golden and they sound hollow when tapped. Remove the buns from the oven and transfer them to a rack to cool. Once cooled, the buns are ready to serve, or you can bag them and freeze them quite successfully for months, provided the bag is well sealed. That's it for today folks, please remember to like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you again real soon.